all right what is up guys zeus here with another video and i'm not even gonna waste time you already know what it is we're gonna be looking at some more ivl so with that being said let's hop right into the first match all right and here we got the first match right here opera singer no one surprised we're going up against gardener acrobat cord and mercenary with opera running peepers and a lot of borrowed times on this comp really i i couldn't really get a quick look at the builds to be honest it was just moving too fast so i'll just we're gonna spat off the builds when we see you there but uh i saw a lot of borrowed times here compared to the usual suicide build so maybe we're getting more comfortable but then again um uh, this is yawn so we never know what can happen with him um yeah I, I i just keep finding dow five matches coincidentally they are the most entertaining ones because a certain little uh dow five hunter is very interesting with his plays so gardener on windows tide turner merc on his standard rescue acrobat on windows tide and cord on windows bt okay he is going to be chasing the cord first basement isn't shack but now shack pilot is going to be gone now all right, cord rotating over to no mint. Yawn, yawn. Okay. Whew, had me, had me scared for a second. Drop pallet. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Vault back. Vault back. Vault back. No vault back. Okay. She still has gun. Yawn is doing his best to maybe try to avoid. Nope. He gets. He still gets popped. He still gets popped with the with the gun. That's that's tough. That is gonna give the cord a bit more time to transition. He's just gonna swap targets here, but he is gonna find over the gardener. I mean, sure. I guess, but like she take three hit, and it's like, oh, well, I mean, Bubble actually kind of did just run out. So, okay, okay, sure, I can, I can allow it. Starting a brand new cipher and everything. I'm getting looped that fucking locker here, of course, of course, typical Yan activity. Can't do much about it though with any hunter. Bubble and she gets bubble off, so Yan just waits this out, and he does get a hit here. He should, he should at least. Peeper to slow her down. And, yep, he gets a hit, but now she just uses that speed boost because veteran speed bonus, uh, bonus, and then she gets all the way to factory now. This is a amazing early game from the YS Survivors, a team that I don't even, like, I, I genuinely didn't even know existed. Not gonna lie. I, I don't know who YS is supposed to be, but uh, whoever they are, somebody let me know. Because I, I did not know, like, who this team is. Then if I did, then I forgot. We are going to see that Gardener is going to go down here after almost a two, maybe like two and a half cypher kite. All things considered, they have three. They have all five cyphers. They got all five cyphers. Two minutes into the game, they got all five cyphers already worked on. Like all of them have minimum 20% progress. We are going to see that the mercenary is about to come in here. Mr. Lion over here. Why does that name look familiar? Lion, Lion, Lion. Why, why does that sound familiar? Lion, Lion. Hmm can feel it on the tip of my tongue pause um okay line is gonna elbow pad past gonna hit okay yawn hasn't made any mistakes yet so far mm-hmm mm -hmm. all right yo respect the palette <laughs> gardener was on that time yawn 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 yo bro you were already starting with this shit at least he got the down, but like, we're already starting. You, she pallet stunned you. You didn't see her go to the left, my boy. Like, what? What are we doing? You just gave her like an extra now 10% chair persistence. Now she gets to live on the chair longer. Now they could actually just wait until. Why are you swinging? There are two ciphers remaining. Oh, he probably swung out of shadow. Okay, that, that's just me being a that that that's just me being on Yan's ass for no reason. Okay, he was just doing that to get out of shadow reset cooldown. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's just me being on his ass for no reason. My fault, Yon. My fault, Yon. But now they can... Like, look how slow that guard's chair is going. Like, they can really just wait for the Cypher to be primed. Yon is getting fucked. Okay. Acrobat... Yo, bro. He ran into the damn fireball. And there's Tide. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Dungeons Factory 2? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be the dungeon kite of a lifetime. Watch this. This, this could actually unironically be a four man. He can't even dash because... Bruh, why would you waste bubble there? That's so... I, I don't agree with that play at all. Like, I, I really don't. Like, that that's like your sustain for endgame. Oh, wait. Doesn't have BT. Right. So she's dead now. <laughs> so this is where trump card kicks in, Yon, buddy. TP right now. Buddy, TP right now. T teleport right now. 
Merc elbow padded away, swinging at nothing. He assumes factory because where else is he gonna go? Yup, 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 yup. And now the Merc is gonna go down. This is still pre north Merc, by the way, for uh, CN, sir, for the CN uh, players over here. So Merc got 30 seconds. No way he gets dungeon. Yan, don't tell me you just threw like that. Yan, don't tell me you just threw like this. Yan, don't tell me you just threw like this. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, wow. I almost thought Yan would just got three men like that. Look at the, the YS survivors with that smile on their face. Like, damn, it almost worked. Is that an anti-cosplay? Wow. All right. With that being said, let's move on now to the second half. All right. Second half. We got... Opera Singer running Trump Card Detention Blink against Accord on Tide Broken Windows, Officer Tide BT, Seer Windows BT, and Dancer Windows BT. Arms Factory, by the way, so Dancer is going to be an absolute nuisance on this map. She's most likely spawning Factory, I want to say. Oh, that little bit of delay right there. Uh, that's not for me, I swear to God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me drink my water now, because so, I'm a little parched. Yes, drink water, kids. This is your daily reminder to drink water. Stay hydrated, please. Especially in the winter time and during finals week. I, I'm recording this, by the way, right before my Astro final. So, like, yeah. This is a little bit of a funny haha because I didn't record a video yesterday. Okay. D is going uh, towards Shaq, I want to say. No, no man's. Uh, buddy, you got, a, you got any clue where you want to go? Kind of wandering aimlessly right now. Uh, what? What is he doing? Okay, okay, he's heading towards Locker. He would... Okay, Shen, let's go. He pops the gun immediately, wasting no time, not trying to give up that free hit. Doesn't vault the window, though. It's prompting to save the window speed boost, maybe? Going over to the pallet. No, can't get that pallet swing. You're not a, you're not a Blackguard Wu Chang, buddy. You're not Blackguard. Cord doing a, a good loop, a good marathon of this locker area right here. Opera moving as fast as a fucking turtle. Are we gonna get see Seer spectate? Are we gonna see a Seer spectate right here? Seer is spectating. Baits out the owl though. Baits it out though. And is looking like gonna head to middle now? No, not gonna head to middle. Just trying to wait out the owl. But misses the hit because of broken windows and slow boxes. And now this is where the fun begins because slow boxes and factory. Oh yeah, yeah. You see that? Uh, who, buddy? Oh boy. Yeah, this is not fun for the opera right now. You gotta break the boxes, gang. You gotta break the boxes. You gotta break the boxes. You can't let this happen. Yeah, break the boxes. You're already gonna get kited long enough. Like, just just break the boxes. <laughs> Bruh. That slow ass blink. Oh my god, bro. So much time to react to that. That slow as molasses blink. Jesus Christ, they got all ciphers. But she's getting basemented. Wait. They got all five ciphers, but she's getting basemented though. That's not fun. Oh. Alright. She's gunning out of basement. YS is kind of... Oh, well, I guess the Hunter more specifically. D is kind of... Inter why? Uh, what? D is kind of interesting. Not gonna lie. D is an interesting player, I can tell. Officer coming in, though. He's rocking that Persona skin drip. And... She's just gonna camp? You're not gonna pressure? No? Nothing? You're just gonna let them decode? I, I guess. Buddy, you're an opera singer. You move fast. Like, pressure. But, but breaking the pallet forces out the watch but excuse me not so much a force more so just the uh, the officer didn't want to take the risk he didn't want to take the chance out of the watch range he can see the officer now you're out of range you can hit him you can hit him fuck you don't have the damn z's popping out of your head farm just farm him what are we doing what are we doing please 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 for the love of christ and and the officer chilling in the basement typical typical shots you should have just vaulted the window there my boy what are, there we go i i i i'm like oh god i'm like gordon ramsay with this shit bro i i just fucking see the littlest thing and i'm like nope gotta crit criticize it they have the final two ciphers above 60 i don't know 
This is gonna be an actual four. Oh wait, no. After half, never mind. <laughs> never mind. This is a draw. Never fucking mind. This is a draw. That's the case. If it was after half, why didn't fucking officer die for her? Like, you gotta give it some chance at least. You know, you gotta win, maybe. But I guess they're prioritizing sustain above all else. They popped one. They have all seven ciphers on the map started with some kind of progress. And Factory was the final cipher, but the core did end up dying on it, which is unfortunate. And now she's just going to taste a dancer on it, hoping to down this dancer. Dancer needs to kite away. She needs to, like, get into Factory. Yep, drop it. Oh my god, she walked right through that shit. Wow. Why are we looping here? We need, we need to, like, leave Factory because if you get basement, you kind of just lose. If you get basement, we, you guys actually just lose. Elbow pad? And pallet swung that time. Respected that pallet at that moment in time. That's a good way to switch it up on him. D is kind of cooking up right now. I don't know if she can push base. Oh, just prompting to slug. He wants to see if he can get a hit. He is going to be able to. No, he's not going to get a hit. Wait. He is going to get a hit. Can he TP back though? Can he TP back though? No, he can't. His clones are too. His clones are gone already. That that broken window speed boost from the steer unironically like saved a lot of things because now he can't TP back, which means the dancer can self heal and they can freely decode factory now. So it was a gambling play from D over here, but and it could have paid off if that seer didn't have windows. Okay, cheering, cheering simulator. Uh, Cypher's at 85. He knows exactly where both survivors are because he saw the Cypher was being decoded. So that means he can just run right over to this area. And we're seeing that he's doing that now. But he's walking over to the fucking gate. D. 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 Please. Within pocket watch range. He knows where to go. You're just, he, he knows you're just going to beeline that shit. Like. Oh. Uh. Now just gonna chair the officer. <laughs> Wasting no time. He doesn't want to risk anything. Chairing where though? Is he gonna try and chair no man's for oh chair no man so that way then there's nowhere to go for kiting routes? Yeah. Okay. Fear is also here. Hits the seer. Pop. They split. And he's gonna just end up chasing the seer again. No, why wouldn't you go after the seer who is in an area that you can just dash back and forth? Uh, I, I guess, sure, it worked, but I don't know. I get my preferable chase target would have been the fucking seer, because at that point, with the, with chasing the seer, right now I know who's gonna be going where, because now I know that they can only go to one area, and I know where I, the officer is going. That's most likely where the court is, so I get a two for one special, you know. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. He got scared and TP'd back, and or bayoneted his way back, even though he had manual TP to use. Oh, uh, I just don't agree with some of these plays. Like, I don't understand. Like, you could have easily just pressured off that seer if you got that scared. Just, te just physically teleport back. Yeah, because it's like you're doing all this extra shit now, and it's like it's only working because the survivors are also just as scared. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know why either. None of them are on a gate. Like, I don't know what the court is doing right now. Like, the court heard the teleport back. Like, you know that he doesn't have his his ability back. I mean, not the court, the dancer. You know that he doesn't have the ability back. Respects the absolute shit out of that pallet. And respect my shit. My God. Beautifully done, bro. Bro had to teach him some respect. The disciplining. Now, where is Dungeon again? Dungeon's all the way at Factory, right? Yep. Oh my god, he lost track of him. Okay. Now, now he's now he's respecting every fucking pallet known to man. What? Okay, there's the hit. We got the three man, and this only worked because the survivors were just not on the gate. Why? Like, if he TPs, he TPs. I I I, I don't know, bro. I don't I don't know. Like, this match was janked. This match was janked in a half, dude. Like, I, I, there was just so much going on this match. What the fuck? Well, that is the end of round one with, uh, yo, with, uh, YS taking round one over Dow 5. So now, let's move into round two. Okay, round two. We got a breaking wheel against an entomologist, merchant, court, and officer. The map is Chinatown. We are going to see that wheel is running the tension trump card bling. 
we have merchant on tide borrow time ento on flywheel borrow time cord on windows borrow time and officer on tide borrow time so this is gonna be an interesting match because the ento is the only one with flywheel however the wheel also doesn't have doesn't have excitement for a cord gun so this could honestly early game wise go into either side's favor it just depends who opens up the best in the early game because that's when they have all their items to use however in the late game the wheel can snowball hardcore because at that point nobody has any defense for once he reaches his full present state at that point it just becomes a slugfest where he just hits people snaps why are we going upstairs when we know people are not upstairs why what what are we doing musk what are we uh oh man no yawn gameplay i wanted to see yawn play <laughs> Oh, I'm such a horrible person. <laughs> okay, we are going to see he's going to be getting circles ran upon right now by this merchant. And uh, he's, she's, she's doing donuts on him as she gets spiked. Are you going to hop on your catapult? Yes, you are. You're going to glide into hotel. He might be able to throw a trap here. He's choosing not to, though. I'm going to turn. He threw a trap at the window despite there being no sign of her going to the window. Uh, okay. B support was there, by the way. Just saying, bees, bees were there. Getting circled on a door. The breaking wheel is getting fucked right now. Jesus Christ. Yo, higher is actually like going crazy right now. Ento support. Ento support. Ento support. Let's go. Shout out to Z's. And now she just takes the catapult again. That's so... Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wait, why did you do that? Why didn't you just drop? Why didn't you just drop down the opposite end? Yeah. Y yeah, you fucking goofball. What are we doing? What are we doing? What the fuck? No, 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 no. What the actual shit just happened? So, so Musk over here is just not knowing what the fuck he's doing higher than decides to literally smoke a blunt midway throughout the match and go right back into the hunter. Okay, buddy. Yo, what the shit? What, did, what in the fuck did I just watch? Bro, this is... Yo. Yo. I, 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 I got no words. I don't have fucking words. Yo, okay. I go higher and higher again. He got trapped. And he took the trap. He got hit. He's going after Lion. No, he's going after higher. Because he used wanted order. He knows that if they're highlighted in red, that's the officer. Yes, sir. That's what we call skills. And now she just gets snapped. Why? Why aren't you snapping? She just fucking snap. Yeah, like. Okay. I got both ciphers 30. Merchant still got catapults to work with, though. High key. Uh, Cord has gun, too. So, Cord coming in for... The oh, unfortunate that the Cord is the one with fucking wanted, though. Cord gotta be the one to come in. <sighs> Why is it... Oh, he, he, wants, he just wants to make sure she's double spiked. Okay. He got... He's getting stuck. <laughs> Oh my god, get the rescue now, please, please, before, like, shit actually hits the fucking fan. They got both ciphers above 70 right now, pretty much, right? Is gonna get the rescue, pops the gun right there, beautifully done, didn't even get the full presence spike on now. That means he can't even stun the merchant, and this is looking like now a four-man endgame. Not looking like this is going to be a four-man endgame for them. Pyre just needs to drop down, to be honest. Or that works. Yeah, you just pop right here. That That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. She purposely dropped down because she would get the speed boost and she wanted to use it. Dude. <laughs> okay, aside from that little interaction right there at Hotel, this has actually been a pretty solid match. Well, Pyre's clipped. Oh, she drops the pallet and gets blinked. Swap to peepers, which is cool. Uh, but uh, the gate's already open. 
And that's a three-man for uh, YS. Dow 5 just getting fucked. Okay, so Yan and Musk. Uh, yeah, I'm on both of your asses. Look at them happy ass shit right there. They're like, yeah, we just did that, my man. And Musk is there like, fuck. Hmm, maybe I am bad. Yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, you go from Dow 5 being such an amazing team to where they are now. Like, I just can't help but rip on them because I'm like, bro, please. Like, you guys can play better. And I want them to play better, please. Oh, so that was a really fast fucking match. Anyway, second half of round two is a go. All right, we got my boy forward going with patient lawyer and Pater against a Weaver. Weaver on Chinatown? That's kind of scary. Excitement Weaver nonetheless. Forward on broken windows. Patient on tide. Lawyer on tide windows. And then we got Painter running broken windows. Everyone with BT, of course, aside from the lawyer right there. I can't wait to see my boy forward. Forward, cook for me right now. You know the drill. You know what we have to do. Let, let's fucking do this shit, my guy. I want to see this. Painter, let, let's see how you perform as well. Because Painter picks have been getting a bit less rare. So, and I want to see how my boy Painter fares in this meta. More or less. Or I guess in the later rounds. Because I know I, I've stated before in the past how they use Painter for Opera Singer. However, Painter, just in general, I think is an underrated survivor utility-wise. So I'm very interested to see how they use that Painter. You are going to see that the Weaver is immediately beelining towards Hotel and is going to chase the Painter. Woo, let's fucking go. Red light tricking right there, holding off his webs. He's going to start spitting cobwebs. No, he's not going to start using his webs. He's just stacking up his webs. He's not trying, oh, he's trying to prevent that painter from building up the painting right there, which is why he's moonwalking. He doesn't want to give that painter any chance to look at the face. Painter works kind of like novelist, where he needs to actually like physically see the hunter to an extent in order to actually start building up the painting. You are seeing now that the painter is able to build the painting. Is he going to drop the pallet right here? Yes, he is. He's going to drop both pallets, not give that weaver any time to fucking go around. And we are going to see excitement used on that painting. Forward is coming in. He does get the hit. Excitement is still up, though. Will the forward go for a stun? Come on, my boy. Come on, my boy. Come on, my boy. Nope, nope, nope. He gets hit out of the fucking stun. Oh, my God. D is, D is on the comeback. And now he's just going to chase after the forward. Yeah. The forward still does have broken windows, though. So this is not going to be an easy chase. However, first presence is available. Yep, we are going to see that the forward is using all that ball. Getting to this pallet. He does make the vault here. Football still on cooldown, and now Weaver using all these webs, and is just going to be able to hit that forward down almost immediately. This is why forward is not used that often, because of the amount of risk that he has with no survivability, compared to something like Antiquarian, where you can like stun the hunter like 50 million times in a row, and then even if you fuck up one, you still have two more in your back pocket, along with the disarm. Very unfortunate from the forward there. I know I said I wanted to see you cook, but damn, you just got outplayed there, my guy. Jesus Christ, I just went on a full minute talking. My fucking God. I talk a lot. Uh, Do we not see the person behind you, buddy? Did, 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 did we not see the lawyer behind us? Like, what? Like, hello? Do I have better vision than them? Like, what the fuck? All right. Gets the, hits the chair, too, by the way. We're not even going to talk about that, how he hit the fucking chair. You're going to chase after the lawyer? Why? Why? I know he's the decoder and all, but, like, you have a, the forward who's on chair already. Well, I mean, the down is free, so whatever. But, like, still, resetting your entire chase, like, I I just, like, the general concept of resetting the entire chase like that, I don't agree with. Simply because of the fact that, it's like, you already had somebody on chair once, and now you're giving them time to reset. Like, this actually gives the survivors an opportunity to draw the match now. Because before, it was looking like maybe they were going to get three men or something. But this actually gives them the time to, like, draw the match. Because forward gets a free reset. Like, as we can see, they're resetting right now. Lawyer has his first chair time still up. And excitement, while it's back up, it's like they know it's not blink. So the lawyer can kite as risky as he wants. Oh, my God. No, never mind. He just gets farmed off by the fucking patient. And excitement's back up. You as the forward, you should know that excitement is back up at this point. It's been way too long since you fucking failed that attempt of a stun. So you should know damn well that excitement is back. He is going to try to harass. Maybe he's going to try and bait the excitement right now. If he auto picks, you know, you know, you know. My nigga. Wait! Wait! He got the rescue! Ha! 
How? He got the rescue. What the fuck? No fucking way. They're, they're still in a shitty position because both survivors that have been on the chair before are now down in the area. But he got the fucking rescue off. Yo, my boy D doesn't know how to click a button. D, you don't know how to click buttons now? We don't know how to press the single counter that you have? They got all ciphers above 50, by the way. I just want to, like, look at that cipher progress, but he got the fucking rescue. Dude, that's actually insane. That's actually fucking insane. Painter, use the painting right here. Painter, you might unironically have to use that painting, my boy. Uh, this is going to be really close. This is actually, yep, just use the painting. You don't want to risk it. You don't want to risk it at all. It's exactly what you want to do there. Beautifully done. Forward has no self. Actually, wait, this is still a really shit position. Hits through the damn. No, it doesn't hit through the lawyer. Hits through. It hits through the lawyer to hit the patient. But now it's like the the uh, not the patient, the painter. The painter, the patient is the only one that's deconing. Too many fucking peas on this damn team, bro. Too many damn peas. The patient is the only one that is decoding right now. Forward did use self heal, and the lawyer is about as good as clipped right here. Forward is here to do little bullshittery. Oh my God! Disrespects the absolute fuck of your palate. Forward, you're getting cooked. You've been like that one stun was cool, but you've been getting cooked this whole match. And you don't have self fuel either, so the, you don't need to get picked up. Uh, picking up? Question mark? Or are you just gonna cocoon? No, he's picking up. He's prompting to pick up. Why? You can just slug or cocoon. Uh, I like, I I guess. But I don't know. I uh, even it's like I I would have slugged just swapped to TP at that point. Like if he gets picked up, he gets picked up. You know somebody's not decoding. They only need one cipher left, and it's like they're at fucking. They both ciphers are at 50. So it's like I would have rather slugged maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just me being weird because the forward is on his final chair right now, so they don't have the time to wait out for a cipher prime. This might be the idea. Terror shock right here. Terror shock him right here. Terror shock him right here. Terror shock him right here. You're bad. Never mind. Your hitbox is just fucking weird as hell. What the fuck? That's so bullshit. Wow. You just completely ignored the patient. You are you just gonna TP to the cipher? No. Yes. 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 No. D D is cooking up a storm. Oh, the bait. Jesus Christ. That pallet dropping speed is. <laughs> Yo. Poor, poor, poor patient, man. Poor patient. They're gonna be able to pop the cipher though. Patient has no hooks though, so he he's clipped. Like that's it. He's dead. Yeah, he he's gone. Yeah. Switch to TP right now. Switch it to right now. Get the four man. Get the four man, or you're bad. Get the four man, or you're bad. Oh my god. I want to see your four man. Dude, these matches have been going by so quick. Like it's like it's six minutes in. That's it. Non gets out. Non gets out. Yeah. Non gets out unfortunate from the dow five serves there like they, but but like i said it was the inevitable to an extent aside from d like swap it wait what that's it oh right they won both rounds there's no need for round three holy fuck the shortest ivo matches in fucking history what the fuck wow dow five just got <laughs> yo I'm out here like, dude. That was like, they literally. Oh, wow. What the shit? That was fast as hell. Um, okay. Uh, that that's done. Um, yeah, no need for round three, right? YS won both rounds. That's it. It's over. Uh, yeah. That That's the set of matches. Wow. Alright guys, I hope you all did enjoy uh, my commentary for this set of IVL matches. Uh, again, uh, I love doing this. This shit is fun for me. Like, I genuinely enjoy it. Uh, I've become, a, I guess, somewhat notorious of being a, a yawn hater. So, um, take that as you will. So, with that being said, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you all did enjoy. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of me and my content. I'm Zeus, and I'm out. Peace out, everyone. Love you all.